logic and reason, a desire for precision above all else, and a total lack of emotion. Yeah, if Vulcans designed cars, that's probably exactly what they'd be going for, and frankly, if that were the case, the cars they come up with would probably look an awful lot like what's coming out of Germany these days. I mean, Audi, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Porsche make spectacular products, but there's a certain something that they're just lacking. Evidently, England agrees. The Jaguar F-Type isn't logical, it isn't reasonable, and I'm willing to bet my house that Spock wouldn't understand it. But you know what? F Spock. Okay, I should probably revise that a little bit, because starting with 2016, the Jaguar F-Type in V8 form is only available with all-wheel drive, which of course is a brand new addition to the F-Type lineup starting with this model year, and frankly, all-wheel drive in the V8 is highly logical, because the rear-wheel drive models from the past, well, they were a real handful on the road. That's not the only change to the F-Type for the 2016 model year, but it is undeniably the most important one because it means that both in six and eight cylinder forms, this is going to be a usable car year round. Additionally, the new all wheel drive system should also make the F-Type much more usable at, say, a road course? By default, the all-wheel drive system sends 100% of the power to the rear wheels, but in a hard corner or when it needs more grip, it can send up to 50% to the front axle, which is a really good thing when you keep in mind that you've got a supercharged 550 horsepower 5 liter V8 sending that much power to the rear and of course also in this case, the front axle. Now, one thing you might know about the F-Type already is that it uses hydraulic power steering. Except for 2016, Jaguar is introducing electric power steering to the car, and <laughs> if anything was lost in the process, I gotta tell you, I really don't feel it. The handling is precise, the corner turn-in is amazingly sharp, and the combination of power and grip that this thing has now with all-wheel drive makes the F-Type, if you can believe it, even more fun to drive. Now, as you might have heard, the F-Type gets a manual transmission for 2016, but of course, we're driving the automatic model right here on the track because this is the V8, and again, the V8 is only available with all-wheel drive, and all-wheel drive models are only available with the ZF-sourced eight-speed automatic transmission that you're probably familiar with in Jaguar Land Rover products. But by no means is that a bad thing. As we've said before, the eight-speed is particularly responsive, it's quick to shift, and it's very, very smooth in how it delivers those gear changes. Fittingly, for a car with such a quick transmission, this is an impressive performance machine. You get carbon ceramic brakes, an adaptive suspension, and an exhaust note that sounds like nothing short of a middle finger aimed directly at the sky. It's loud, it's unapologetic, and it never wants to stop pulling through each of its eight gears. It's absolutely impressive. Better still, the all-wheel drive system in this car makes it totally approachable, and for 129,000 bucks, it really should be, shouldn't it? Probably, but it gets even better because the F-Type comes with a five-year, 60,000-mile warranty as well as five years of free scheduled maintenance. Best of all, you don't even have to spend above six figures to get a car that's really worth owning. The least expensive F-Type starts at just under $66,000, although the car you really want to get is the V6S, and that one starts at just about 78 grand. For the extra 12 Gs, Jaguar checks off all of the must-have boxes. Adaptive suspension, check. Sport seats, check. Limited slip differential, check. Variable exhaust, check. Six speed manual, check, 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 check.
Jaguar says they're going after the 911 with the F-Type, and to a certain extent that makes sense. I mean, the V8 model makes roughly as much power as a 911 Turbo, and this car, the V6S, it lines up pretty closely with the base Carrera, but they really aren't the same car. I mean, they are about the same length, but the base 911 Carrera weighs about 450 pounds less than the V6S that I'm driving right now. And that's a big difference. Also, to be honest, Porsche does build a much better interior. Then again, the weight distribution in this thing is pretty much perfect. Now, does it stack up to the 911? Honestly, I'm not quite sure. We'll have to get it into a side-by-side -side comparison for that. But what I am certain of is that the F-Type was fun before, and now it's flat out fantastic. Shifts are short, the gear changes are precise, and the supercharged V6 responds to your right foot readily to make downshifting and heel toe shifting an absolute pleasure. I mean, pedal placement is almost perfect in this car. Even if you don't buy the manual, and the truth is, most people won't, this is still a very, very compelling car.